central unit controlling Amada is in there. <laughs> yes, we're almost uh, there. Need to upgrade. Better brace yourselves. Who knows what? Upgrade. Fine. Let's go. Dan, let me know as soon as you're ready. Right then, if you're ready, let's go. Ready. Good man, move out. Let's go kill an AI. That's it, huh? That's it. Hard to believe a bunch Build of new can cause this much havoc. It's freaking huge. Yeah. Well, the world's first computer was over 30 tons. <laughs> I suppose we've come full circle. I thought it was us Yanks that talked too much. Just kill the damn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel. With pleasure. Is a funny oh, jokey man. Gotta be shitting me. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. They're not Japanese. They're American. It's a U.S. tactical robot force. It's all right. It's all right. What are they doing? Base to Beetle One. Good job, Commander. What are you doing here? U.S. invasion is it for another 12 hours. Sorry, Charlie, but I can't let you destroy this AI. It's U.S. property now. You bloody turncoat! This was your plan all along! No, this is the first I've heard of it. I want that thing as dead as you do. Too bad, soldier, but we had to keep you out of the loop. We couldn't risk a leak. You can't control that thing. It's too dangerous. Only in the wrong hands. It's like nukes. Major. What the it's hell like is nukes. going on here? Regrettably, soldier, this is the end of the line. Game over, Dan. Just the way it has to be. Both? Are you crazy? Like I said, we can't risk a leak. The IRTA won't take this line down. The IRTA won't know a damn thing. You're the only witnesses, and there's a nuke on its way right now to take care of that. Officially, Amada hacked Milcom again in some crazed suicide bid to destroy evidence. Nobody will ever know the difference. You've been playing us from the start. <laughs> oh, you always were an asshole, Major. Oh, I was only obeying orders, just like you. The difference is this time, I get to be the survivor. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Please, Sergeant, this is no time for bravado. Any last words? Yeah. Tell your mom I loved her. Nice of you to finally notice. <laughs> Seriously. You're just standing there. <laughs> You missed. <clears throat> Botang, what are you waiting for? Shoot him! You wanna do this, man? <laughs> you didn't think I was really gonna shoot you, did you? God damn it! Fire! I'm gonna take out the big dudes. I guess we're both outlaws now. Nah. Cause you see, they're the ones that were doing the bad things. Let the good times roll. It.
Why is there obsession with freaking uh, smoke grenade? Where'd the Major go? And look out! Guess that's the Major. I thought we took down all the big ones! Sergeant, you always were a pain in the neck. Major? But I never took you for a goddamn scrap lover. I was gonna make it quick, but now? Let's start with you. I'm still questioning where Kane is. Hit right. To hit a pretty woman. Stupid bastard. Well, one down. You son of a bitch! Easy, Sergeant. Remember, I'm the only one who can cancel that missile strike. Well, then I guess you're going down with us. You won't get away with this! As if you could actually do anything about it! Groping, twisting me around your- Now's our chance! Focus all attacks on him! tactics. Way too Try much to damage. Careful. If you die, then we're all in a pickle. Hey, you all right? I'm okay. I can handle this. Up, Charlie. It takes more than this to be bigger. than this to kill me. So you think you stand a chance against me? Careful! He's got a new toy to play with! Christ! That fighter unit has an RPT launcher too! You can't escape, Sergeant! Wherever you go, we'll find you! Why not make it easy on you? Dan, you okay? God Should damn. I come help? If you can handle yourself, then fine! But don't get careless! You can't escape, Sergeant! Wherever you go, we'll find you. Why not make it easy on yourself? Sure. That's the most 
Not Charlie's up. We have to make a stand. Damn it. We can't fail. So annoying. Take more than this to kill me. I'm okay. We're you almost done. Dig me. in. Hey, this. The enemy's ready oh, to crack. We, let me Stay do focused. something. just to cover up the fact that you want an AI to use as a weapon. You're gonna turn out to be a hollow child or something. That's irony, aren't you? God damn you. Well, maybe so, Major. Just means I'll see you in hell.
What was that? Finally, way of the AI. Unless it uploaded itself somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got to laugh about? You idiot. All you've done is delay events. That nuke is still on its way. Strike in... 20 seconds. He's wrong. There's no missile. You willing to bet your life on that, scraphead? Not that you have much choice. Impact in... Seven seconds. Five, four, three, two. It's gonna be like a triple cross where it's just like. It's probably a thing where they sent him there. It's like, oh, you can just nuke the place. But deniable One. plausibility. The government Strike! ain't gonna nuke a Damn city. It! Strike! See? I told you there was no missile. I don't understand. When Amada hacked the Milcom network, he evolved the AI at Missile Command to ASC mode, Autonomous Sensory Capacity. Oh, for God's sake, Faye, just speak English. It means NC vessels now have the authority to assess the validity of orders they receive. Seriously? Seriously. And they calculated it wasn't valid because of human error. Goddamn scrapheads. Relax, Sergeant. I'm not gonna shoot your precious robot girlfriend. But I'm not gonna let one of them take me down either. Pretty dumb. <laughs> At least I won't have a price on my head. Now you know me. I'll manage. I'm the survivor. Remember? <laughs> Pass me a cigarette. Man. <laughs> I always told you those things would kill you. Take care of her, brother. She sure is pretty. Ah, Bo. Call her if you're dead. Dan. I have to go. I know. You know, even if I don't kill you, someone else will. You'll have Russ Cruz on your ass for the rest of your life. Probably. I'll tell them you went missing in action. You've got two hours till I find that report. Thank you, Charlie. Wait, I'm coming with you. No, Dan. I have to do this alone. Besides, you Americans make too much noise. Hey, don't be stupid. You can't... I fly solo out there. Goodbye, Dan. Take care of yourself. The Ministry of Homeland Affairs is in the process of dismantling Armada. 
As agreed by the Security Council. IRTA will oversee the destruction of all research and facilities relating to the manufacture of hollow children. And for the AI, too? Yes, sir. It's all going up in smoke. Sorry, Mr. Bergen. It had to be done. Oh, I understand. Such a shame, though. What about these hybrids? Geneva's pursuing 107 of them. Tracking their locations will take time, but Russ Cruz will be dispatched with termination orders as soon as possible. Are we really considering the hybrids as robots? They're completely biological. But not born of humans, Mr. Bergen. The IRTA was very clear on this. Besides, the last thing this world needs is more racial tension. What about the 108th hybrid? Fei Li has gone underground and remains at large, but she can't stay hidden forever. Does it really matter? What harm can one woman do? Mr. Bergen, what happens if another Amida comes along? Only this time, instead of staying underground, the Hollow Children decide we're a threat. If that happens, who do you think they'll look to for a leader? I got a feeling this is not the end. And that's it. Hmm. A little bit of a rushed end, if you ask me, unless there's an post credit sequence. But yeah, I wish we didn't find out what happened to Kane, which is extra, which is extra kind of sad. Like, this didn't feel like it had a proper ending. It had a climax, but it didn't feel like it actually had an ending. But yeah, this is a very good game, in my opinion. Well, not very good, but pretty, pretty good. It had decent enough gameplay, though I do believe certain sections could have been made better if they were just tighter. Like certain boss battles, if certain things were tweaked. But overall, the normal gameplay was fine. The world was actually pretty interesting. And the story was actually really well done. Like this is one of those, this could have been an action movie, but they decided to do it as a video game. Which, honestly, more action movies might probably do, in my opinion. It's just like, just because there's a lot more mileage that you can get out of a uh, video game than, say, a action movie. But, though it is a little weird with the story at places, because, like... The hybrids aren't really hybrids. Because unless you really want to get deep into how, like, a robot can give birth, then we can only assume that it fabricated, like, uh, embryos and stuff. It, it it's, it's a weird thing where it's more clone than hum- like, hybrid. It's just like, oh, it's, they're, they're hybrids. Not really. But also, there's another weird thing. <laughs> I just realized, why did Faye have, like, an identity crisis there? It's like, oh, I'm gonna help Amada, and then I'm not gonna help Amada. Like, what? And, like, uh, this is a very interesting, uh, like, moral quandary. It's just like, do we let the... Like, what do we do, what do we do with the hollow children? The hollow children, I say, are threats. Why? Because they are hackable. Like we, we saw with Yoshiki. Or whatever his name was. Oh yeah, and then Shindo never showed up again, so he was just a dumbass. And we never saw the police officer again. It feels like there's a lot of loose ends. But... Christ, my throat. But yeah. 
the hollow children themselves are threats because they can be hacked. It's basically a Deus Ex uh, scenario. Like in uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, the world is divided because the Augs, or augmented people, got hacked by the Illuminati or whatever and went on a rampage, killing a lot of people. That's something that could happen with the Hollow Children. Though I still question how did none of the Hollow Children get found out? It is a statistical improbability that for 40 years, 40 or 30 years, something like that, these Hollow Children wouldn't break an arm and or get x-rays or something and be found out as hollow children because their robotics are only skin deep so hell even just a <laughs> I just realized all it would take is a serial killer to try and kill one and dump the body for people to realize oh my god and if they're all over the world, eh. It's like, yeah, the story is the most interesting part of this game. <coughs> Jesus Christ, throat. Drink water. But some of it doesn't make sense, like, uh, the AI, like, no, the AI makes sense. Why he kept the body there, that's what I don't know. But some things don't make sense too much. Well, af after credits. Ooh, Gussop. Yes, or Gussarola is indeed Ope. Sequel hook. Chris Redfield! He's humming. He cannot yell. His mouth is not open. Beat it, fellas. You're waste. Oh. As if you're wasting ammo, no, you just want to scare the actual people away. Dang. How did you find me? No answer. Only kiss. You need to cover your tracks better, farm girl. Maybe I wanted you to find me. Yankee. But no cane! Where's Kane? Screw you, I want Kane. Gah! But now let's go over my overall thoughts like I was during the credits. That's the one bad thing is just like with these after credit sequences because I just feel like the urge to stop and then give my thoughts again. But uh, but yeah. Overall, this game is a fine game. It's like, uh, the gameplay is fine when it's trying to be a game. Sega. I guess I'll take my headphones off because I'm just going to run through all that. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're just staying on this screen. Sega starts to get... <laughs> what? But... Overall, when this game is being a shooter, it's fine. And some of the boss battles were actually pretty interesting because it's more than just, oh, shoot the thing, except for the final boss, which is just, oh, shoot the thing, which is kind of weird. In fact, a lot of them kind of devolved into, uh, shoot the thing. Because, like, what was the first boss? Like, I don't even remember. But what all I really do remember is uh, 
certain bad parts. Parts that I think should have been tightened up, like the, uh, the jet ski part. The jet ski part is still the worst part of the game because it's just like, mandatory vehicle segment. Oh, it's just like, no. No. Stop. You don't need a stupid little vehicle segment. Especially hilarious considering that there have been... I still find it hilarious. The vehicle segments in Black Sight were better than the vehicle segments in this. Which, granted, there's only one vehicle segment in this one, but oh well. <laughs> but yeah, the gameplay's fine. The boss fights should have been toned a, a, a little bit better. A little too, a little extra fine tune could have gone a long way, especially if once it's like, hey, give me feedback. But it had a actually wide variety of boss battles, quote unquote boss battles, where you actually had to aim at certain parts to actually damage them and bring them down, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, when it comes to the uh, weapons, there's actually a fair amount like. There's a decent amount of depth here, not amazingly, but enough to get you through and not feel like it's bare bones. Like the upgrade system is pretty cool, the nano system is novel. If the nano machine system, nano machine son, if the nano machine system was uh, <laughs> like uh, more in depth or upgradable or just Something it could have been something, but because I just kept forgetting to equip them because it doesn't feel like they're doing that much. Oh yeah, that's the one bad thing about this game. The one bad thing that I don't like about this game is that you go down so much at times. Like some of the boss battles just come down to her one hit blah! because. I like as a weird balancing feature like oh we need a way to kill the player and then sometimes your allies just won't heal you because it's tied to the voice thing I guess and if you uh, need help I guess there's a voice thing that you can do the voice and say help me and they might come over and revive you or maybe not I don't know but it's like, if you miss your window of opportunity to say, yes, come help me, you're screwed. Or if your ally gets distracted along the way, you're screwed. But other than that, the only thing worth commenting on is, like, the world and the story. The world's pretty interesting, where they, like, global warming and just overall world badness actually does have an effect and actually changes things in the world to the point that robots are needed. It's actually a pretty interesting idea. And who knows, might be the future. But, uh... They actually handle the politics interestingly. But, uh... Again, when it comes to the Hollow Children, I understand what they why they want to get rid of them. Because Hollow Children are robots that think they're human, look human, act human, uh might as well be human despite the fact that their robots are a threat because they can be hacked and might be unstable if they realize that they're robots and but yeah it was like, but still it's so weird that nobody ever like found out before nobody discovered this before it's weird and for the longest time I was wondering if they were gonna reveal that Dan was a uh, ho hollow child offspring hybrid because he if like at a specific moment they said like like hey you have any uh robot in your family tree uh, like jokes back there but they don't actually go into anything it doesn't come like nothing comes of it which is weird it's just like you're gonna make the you're gonna make the joke I guess it's just, yeah, he's basically Saitama. It just worked out a lot. But... Some things that, uh... I just wish that they told us where, what happened to Kane. Like, yeah, he's a robot. It was probably destroyed. But I like Kane. Kane was nice. 
but uh, da -da -da. overall story story. When it comes to the hybrids, though, it becomes a lot more murky and a lot more of a gray situation. Like, I don't know. I don't know. If there's only 108, then... I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's beyond me. But overall, I did like this game. It had its quirks. It, it was a little weird at times. Bo's death was meh, in my opinion. <laughs> we need a character to die. And so they killed Bo. Why? Because the black character died. <laughs> well, they did kill Shindo, but Shindo didn't really matter all that much. But yeah, overall, like this game. And that has been Binary Domain. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, then snap that like button down, and then I will see you dudes next time in our next adventure. Bye-bye.